My brother, my sister, I'm excited to speak to you from the book of Acts. I believe as a prophetic word for this season in the church, that God's going to do a major thing, not just in restoring the church to the basic principles, to be accurate about it, but to manifest himself in very shocking, unique ways in and through our lives, in the nations. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Seven key themes we are looking at. Prayer, precision, perspective, preaching, power, provision, and people. Prayer, as we seek His will, precision, as we study His word, perspective, right perspective, as we see the worth of things, things that He will see that there is worth in. Preaching, to speak the, about the way, Jesus Christ from His word, power, to stand and work according to his plan, provision, because we can sow from the wealth that we have and a peculiar people, a special people, because even we salute and we honor the walk of the, every brother and sister and we appreciate and acknowledge their contribution in the body of Christ. Yes, so he spoke about prayer and how we need to challenge ourselves in the vocabulary, also in the depth of our expression of prayer towards God, and that we will break the mindsets in our soul to be free, so that from our spirit to Him as spirit, from our heart to His heart, there's an awesome flow of eternal life in our expression. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Then we talked about precision as we study His Word. And as we study His Word, we talked about the Word as seed, the Word as rain, the Word as bread, the Word as light, the Word as sword, the Word as rock, the Word as fire, the Word as life, the Word as truth, and the Word as a testimony, an eternal testimony. Then, in the third place, we also talked about our perspective, Based on truth, we will understand how to honor God's hand on our lives, how to honor Him, how to honor leaders, or how to honor the people around us, and that God is absolutely in control, that, and that in the context of honor, we can be faithful, fruitful, and go into the destiny that God has for us. As opposite of honor, we see judgment that based not on the truth, but based on facts. We will be able to judge and even find ourselves to be right and other people wrong. But in that, one destiny to go and die in the desert, because only through honor we can protect our destinies. As God promised that even in the Ten Commandments. Let it be so. But today, in the context of these, these three principles, I want to speak to you from Psalm 119. When we look at Psalm 119, we see so many facets of the Word of God described in such a unique way where we can learn more and more how to understand the Word, how to handle the Word, how to respect and honor the Word, how to appreciate the Word, how to embrace the Word and allow the Word to embrace us. Awesome if you allow the Holy Spirit to open it up for you. My question would be, what do you hear when you understand and hear the Word of God being described as decrees, the Word as law, the Word as commandments, the Word as statutes, the Word as wonders, the Word as judgments, the Word as ways, the words, words as knowledge, the Word as testimonies, the word summarized as his name, the word as the promises of God, and the word as the precepts of God. What do you hear when you hear all of that? And I would want to describe and I want to bring clarity and give more definition about all of these words in Psalm 119. We see in Psalm 119 that God is challenging us to walk in a much deeper way with strong foundations because of the Word of God working in us, working through us. Let it be so in Jesus' name. As we understand that the Word 
of God is revealed to us as principles for an accurate lifestyle, for accurate living, so that we have this framework of how to live for every day. We see also that the Word of God is revealed to us as straight commandments, non-negotiable, with a final authority from heaven into our lives and through our lives. Let it be so in Jesus' name. We see the Word of God is revealed to us as commands demanding an immediate response from our lives. We see the Word of God is revealed to us as input, counsel for specific situations and challenges that we could face. And so that we have safe foundations for building a life into the future. We see the Word of God is revealed to us as the perfect final decisions for our present truth and for our future life in Christ. To look beyond the facts and understanding today what is God saying that can set us free from even understanding our identity through failures, mistakes, and success even. May God help us. Amen. We see also the Word of God is revealed to us as heavenly strategies, plans, according to His heart for me and you. Guidelines for precision in our perspective about God and the life that He's giving us. We see the Word of God is revealed to us as an encouragement for breakthroughs. The words for encouragement from heaven, for breakthroughs that can be seen by faith and through faith that comes from His Word. We understand the Word of God is revealed to us as being alive by knowing the Word as we being alive by knowing the Word in the context of relationship. The Word is revealed to us so that we can understand how to live in the context of relationship with depth and with awesome gold in the beauty of our relationship with Him. Amen? We see the Word of God is revealed to us as God's miracles his works, His deeds. Yeah, it is articulated in honorable words. In honorable words, we can see how His works and miracles and deeds are described in a context of beauty and awesomeness. We see the Word of God is revealed to us as God's promises that are explained in a way that will protect our hearts in the midst of blessing. We also see the Word of God is revealed to us as accurate practical proof given about Him and the integrity and the reality of His eternal existence and how and what He has created in and through our lives. At the end of the day, we see the Word of God revealed to us even in His name, as we see an ongoing eternal summary of who God is, interpreted through His Word and through the Holy Spirit. God will show us, as we will stand in His name, what it all means to stand in His name. And may God always, through His name, give you the summary in simplicity of who He truly is for you, in you, and through you. Enjoy His Word. Love His Word. Make it your own. Embrace it. And I challenge you to ask the Holy Spirit to lead you in Psalm 119 how to reveal, how to reveal even to others that what God has for them. I'm going to give you seven points, 
seven final points from Psalm 119 of what to do. What to do with Psalm 119, where God is challenging you about this psalm. In Jesus' name, let it be so. Amen. Thank you, Father, for your word as a treasure, the preciousness of your word. And even as we see from Psalm 119, there's so many, so many things that you challenge us with, Lord. And first of all, I want to say, yes, Lord, I accept your word. I will accept your word in every facet even as it's described in Psalm 119, I receive your testimonies. Please keep me from deceitful ways, Lord, as I choose the way of truth. Let my feet go back to your testimonies. Direct my footsteps. According to your word, let no sin rule over me, Lord. I turn my heart towards your statutes and not to selfish gain. Deliver me according to your promise. Be gracious to me according to your promise and remove from me scorn and contempt as I accept your word. Set me free according to your word, Lord, as I accept that your word has the final say in Jesus' name. Amen. God, I love your word. And it's not about accepting just your word, Lord. But you demand and you challenge us to study your word. Therefore, according to Psalm 119, I say, I will learn your righteous law. Teach me your decrees. Give me understanding according to your word. Understanding to learn your commands. I will consider all your commands, Lord. I will ponder your statutes. I meditate on your precepts and on your wonders. Let me understand the teaching of your precepts. I have a hunger for your word, Lord. Holy Spirit, help me because you are the teacher. You are reminding me of the words of Christ. And that you are the one opening it up for me. I thank you that you come and you do that. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Lord, I love you. And God, as you challenge me to accept your word. And to study your word. To grow in Christ. Also, you want me to see your word. Lord, I will seek you then. With all my heart. I have sought out your precepts open my eyes that i may see the wonderful things in your law and your awesome character and principles in nature i gain understanding from your precepts my eyes fail looking for your promise but through your your guidance holy spirit i will see as i hunger to see as i have a longing to see therefore i will seek so that i can see through you my lord and my savior so that in what i see i will worship so much more be captivated by you and because I see you. Thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, you have given me the word in Christ Jesus. And so I, I accept your word. I study your word. I see your word through the Holy Spirit. And then I will keep your word. I will keep your word. As you say in 119, as you guide me through the psalm, I have hidden your word in my heart. I will keep your statutes. I will keep your decrees, your law to the end. I hold fast to your statutes. I will keep my way according to your word. 
I will not forget your law. Your commands are ever, ever with me. Precious to me, I keep your word in my heart more than anything else. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the preciousness of your word in me and through me and on me. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, through your Holy Spirit, I accept the word. I will study the word. I see the word as you open up my eyes. I keep the word. I will keep the word, yes, Lord. And then in all of this, I will do the word. I will live according to your word. I will walk according to your law in your ways. I run in the paths of your commands, Lord. I will not turn from your law. Your word is a lamp to my feet. And I will hasten, I will hasten and not delay to obey your commands. Let my ways be steadfast to obey your decrees. Now I obey your word and your law. I will follow your righteous laws and I will do according to the, according to the pattern that you have set for me. Here I am, Lord. Come and live through me. Let your word dwell richly in and through my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My Lord God, as you challenge me through Psalm 119 to accept your word, to study your word, to see your word, to keep your word, and ultimately to do your word, Lord, and live according to your word, then also I want to say, yes, I will speak and I will sing the word of God, your word. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I will speak of your statutes before kings. I lift my hands to your commands, which I love. Your decrees are the theme of my song. At midnight I rise to give you thanks for your righteous laws. And my lips overflow with praise. May my tongue sing of your word. Yes, Lord, the song in my heart, it's all about you. I will speak, it will overflow, it will be the overflow from my heart. That what I speak, that what I sing, it's all about you. Thank you that it could be, and it can be, and it will be, because of you and you alone. Amen. My God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I enjoy your word. At the end of the day, I enjoy your word. And as I made the commitment to accept your word, Lord, to study your word, to see your word through the Holy Spirit, to keep your word, Lord, and to do your word, to live it out, and to speak it, to sing it, wherever I will go. So at the end of the day, I just want to say, I really enjoy your word. I love your commands. I love your law. I love your statutes. I love your name. I love your promises. I love your precepts. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. I find my delight in your commands. Lord, I rejoice in following your statutes and rejoice in your promises. I delight also, yes, Lord, in your decrees, your law and your word. And I want to say your statutes are the joy of my heart. The joy of my heart, your word. The joy of my heart, the word that comes from your mouth. The joy of my heart, the principles that you give me to live by, your principles, your strategies, your plans, just 
to commune with you and hearing your voice through your word more and more and more I will see you thank you for the avenue of your word in Jesus name I pray amen and amen